who is it? Um, I think Sinji said that he thinks Palutena is the best character in the game, and nobody outside of New York feels this way. But like, if you're in New York, you understand why this character is so good. Yeah, for sure. And do you happen to? Sorry, before we continue, do you happen to know the record between these two players? All right. So that was a shrug and a shake of the head, but uh, no, I've definitely seen these two play a lot before. I've seen a lot of Palutena before, but she's just such a solid character in this game. Yeah, that was a really good counter. Like the big thing about her, she just—it feels like she doesn't have very many weaknesses. She doesn't. She has a very hard time getting in. I notice she kind of she kind of relies on other people approaching, and then she punishes their approaches. But like she has a good, she does a really good job at um, not really using like massive disjoints, but just kind of like weird and almost busted hitboxes, like that dash attack, the back air. It's like if you can that back air just beat out Lucina neutral there. Yes. <laughs> yes. But up tilt will take it off the top at a. I didn't expect it to, to, to kill at 130. I mean, kind of did. I don't think we, there were sparks, but... Might have been some questionable DI. It's actually questionable DI. They're both trying to do different things, and they killed. That will kill, for sure. And uh, I didn't actually uh, know until recently that um, the distance of Palutena's the side B is controlled like a smash or tilt attack. Oh, yeah. So... Fun fact for those who did not know. Trying to go again for the counter, which makes sense given the, the situation, but definitely don't want to start to rely on it. Mystery is not a person to rely on counters, so I doubt we'll be seeing a lot of counters on ledge. And I. Wow. Smash will just let it rip and take it. Just but an amazing string, and you can see that Mr. E figures out what the defensive option that the opponent mm -hmm. wants to go for is, and just like waiting and baiting his time until perfect, like the positioning and the counter option lined up, and he manages to position himself for that forward smash, right. taking his stock and putting himself in a really nice lead, but already we're having the uh, answer, Utopian Ray, he manages to take the stock, which is looking like he might do in any second now, uh, then we still have an even game. I, I'm very surprised that he kept... Nair, Nair's going to take it. Nair is super strong. But I'm surprised that he, that he went for a, a third counter. I don't... Know. It seems a, a really uncharacteristic. Maybe he's just trying to bait out uh, uh, Utopian Ray or Padlog. Do, uh, dog him into not going off stage because he'll just counter it potentially. Stage bike, but I don't know. That's just something I haven't seen him do a lot before. Yeah, well, it seems like Mr. E is salivating at that because we haven't seen him go off stage for some kind of progressive thing. Mm -mm. Uh, instead, opting to control the ledge like that. Oh, and it's, I mean, this is really important. He, he doesn't have a jump, that. but he has a teleport. Oh, with that connected. Would have been huge. Oh. You see Mr. E just throwing out all of these moves, but Halutena does have that back air. Mm -hmm. We haven't seen uh, Utopian Ray use it in a while, but there you see the just dash, dash attack. attack. Same Access. property. And now Mr. E is trapped at the ledge. And There's Utopian still Ray many ways to get this control. game. He has no jump. No jump. I mean. Let's him get back to the ledge, though. Another back air. Oh, you can see that, like, Utopian Ray doesn't want to commit Ooh. too hard. And then finally getting back to stage, Mr. E manages to take game one with another up tilt. Was that an up tilt? I'm fairly certain that was an up tilt. I, I'm, I'm going to just say it's an up tilt. <laughs> not, too, not too sure what move came out this there. This is why replays are great. Yeah, okay, that was yeah, an up tilt. Traded. But, Palutena, Utopian Ray, very good combination. Don't think we will uh, be seeing a 2 0 here. Could happen. Could very much happen. It's mystery. But. Ooh, we're actually going to be seeing the uh, Lilac counter pick. And I believe that a big reason for that is the ledge cancels. She can still ledge cancel up B in this game, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Very, very well. Just very. It's a lot easier to do it on the Lilac stage. 
and being caught in disadvantage, being juggled like that, was one of the big problems he had. Mm -hmm. So having an escape option like that, just available pretty much wherever he is because of the layout of those platforms, uh, can make the game plan, the effectiveness of his game plan, really not work as well. I right. like the stage counter pick. Hold on. He's jump. Doesn't have a jump, but went low this time. Mystery went high. Um, I don't know why he keeps going for that counter. He went for the counter there, and I feel like it's it's um, something that most uh, Smash Ultimate players have gotten into doing more for some reason is um, I, I see less grabs unless it's from a Palutena player. Palutena's uh, grab game is one amazing, but her out of shield grab option is just, it, it goes so far and it's so fast that you can land with an option that you think is safe and she she just grabs you like she does there. I mean, F tilt on shield is not exactly the safest, but... <gasps> I didn't think that was gonna... We're just get, we're, it's just gonna happen. We're just not gonna talk about it. Back and three he gets, to let, two. Just lets no uh, no time actually pass. Sees it, gets a forward smash. Falling ends up, in real quick. Up there. Just gonna take it. See, but forward smash wasn't optimal because now his forward smash is singly stayed. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> if he had killed him with a stupid move like down smash. Jesus Christ. That man. means that uh, forward smash would be slightly more... Uh, would down smash even kill at 150? Charge a down smash? I mean, he had his shield broken. <laughs> true. Um, Mr. E scares me with how far he goes off stage. That, <laughs> that back air. Utopian Race scares me with just like how he plays on the stage. Yeah. And now, oh, if that last hit connected. Up, down. Wow. He's been dropping these. And you don't want to drop them. Not now. He has a lead, but he needs to basically gain as much as, it, as he can because, once again, forward smash. Any sort of lag on any move, and that forward smash will hit. Does he have a jump? I don't think. Oh, he has a jump. Okay. But he's still trapped in the corner. Now I don't. Oh, yeah. No, he still has a jump. Mr. E doing a very good job actually preserving his jumps, knowing mm -hmm. that that's like basically a lose condition for mm -hmm. him, is if he loses his jump off stage, then how can he just go off there and be having a much more predictable trajectory, which is, could possibly mean the death frame even at lower percents like this. Mm -hmm. Oh, he wanted to go for it again. And, uh, this, yeah, I can see why he would as an all or nothing uh, option, but. Right now, Jokin Ray is looking very, very good to take this thing out. Whether or not he does is the question. So, ooh, I thought that was going to be it. That'll do it. Dash attack. Dash attack's killing in this game for some reason is something that I'm still not used to. What was that? Dash attack's killing in this game is something I'm still not used to. It used to be like, like almost an exclusive thing, like certain characters that just hit really hard would be able to kill with dash attacks, but now it's like characters like Luigi kill with dash attacks at like 130. Really? His dash attack kills. I didn't even know that. Yeah, as stupid as a dash attack as it is where he just I'm glad that move throws things. I mean, that move needs to be like most broken move in the game. <laughs> I'm sorry. Like I'm so sick of like things like Shine and Tornado and Bayo Uppy being the best moves in the game. It needs to be Luigi's Luigi's That needs to cover too attack. many options. It needs to be safe on shield. <laughs> safe on <hit. laughs> You need to be able to jump cancel it. Oh my like. god. <gasps> Ooh, oh, the oh, box! The <gasps> box. That was so good! It's always something I forget that exists until, until it's it too does. late. Until it's just too late. And that has to be the most upsetting thing. Last game. You just hate to see it. I mean, you love... You I, really? Love, you, <laughs> I think it's pretty cool. You love to see it as a spectator. You hate to see it as a, either a fan or as the player, but... It, it makes for a good... A good goof and a good gaff. Wow, and it's, <laughs> Utopian Ray has taken that inch and gone more than a mile. 
His entire stock ahead, two stocks now. We're running this a marathon right now, and he's not stopping. He is. This is a triathlon <laughs> with how far he is taking this game three. It's ridiculous. We're now in the swimming portion, and Mr. E is drowning. Okay. What? He, he learned He learned how to swim again. Where He's got the, the, uh, the first stock off, but he's still got two more to go through. He just needs to not do those risky options. Oh, but then how does he get anything started? Because Utopian Ray is such a careful player that, like, yeah. he's not just going to give you openings. You have to crack them open. You have to earn them like a... Every time Very I see Palutena just charge up smash, I get ridiculously scared. <laughs> just immediate tilting. Oh. Uh, he keeps just missing these punishes on the re uh, the return of the... <gasps> no! Oh, oh my god, I thought he was on stage. I thought maybe he could DI onto stage, but Dude, no yeah. such luck. That's going to be it for Mr. E's run in winners. Uh, and that was also, that's really bad for him because I know that uh, Venia is also in losers. He might yes. have to play Venia on the loser DI side of things. Hmm? Uh, yeah, I don't think he could have DI'd in there. Was one. Anyway. Yes. Who did Venia lose to? Yeah. Oh, did he lose to Bankai? 